This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Peninsula Regional Medical Center. Well, in a perfect world, there would be no illness, no disease, no suffering, and no, we're not there yet. And while it's bad enough when adults come down with some type of illness, it can just break your heart when it's a child. Yeah. We're not just talking about physical illness, though. We're talking mental illness as well. Unfortunately, kids aren't immune from that either. So with us today to shed some insight on that and to talk about help that is available is Dr. Stephen Dixon, who's the Executive Director for Behavioral Health Services at Peninsula Regional Medical Center. Thank you so much for joining us You're today. You're very welcome. Thank you for having me. So a lot of people have a hard time accepting that uh, mental illness also affects children and teenagers. How? What kind of things do you see in, in kids? We see similar things that we would see in adults, but primarily depression, anxiety, obsessive compulsive disorder. We see a lot of adjustment type disorders. So for example, when children are maybe moving to a new school or a new neighborhood, even if they have a new teacher, a lot of times the adjustment to that can cause undue stress. And unlike adults who may be able to say, oh, this is stressful for me or I'm struggling with this, kids don't necessarily know how to do that. They don't know how to label their emotions and what they're feeling. So sometimes you'll see it manifest as, as far as depression, anxiety, right. behavioral problems. How prevalent is this in children? Well, I can say that in PRMC's catchment area, approximately 27,000 people alone experience clinical depression. Goodness. Wow. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. In general, why do you think me mental health has such a stigma against it? Although we're getting better at erasing that stigma, I think a lot of people see mental health, mental illness as some sort of a weakness that if you were just to pull yourself up by your bootstraps mm -hmm. that you might be able to overcome. But it, it's not the case. It's just like, you know, for example, if you were a diabetic, you would go to the doctor and you would take care of that. You wouldn't be expected to just buck up and, and fix it. Right. Mental illness is no different. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about um, children and, um, l you know, children <laughs> experience all kinds of different emotions and things like that. How do you know if it's just a child being a child as opposed to a child with maybe possible mental illness issues? Are there signs to look for? There are signs, and I always like to tell people or parents, you know your child best, okay, and you know when your child is just being a goofy kid. But when it's different, so when there's gross changes in behavior, overt changes in behavior, maybe your child um, shows increased irritability or becomes incredibly clingy or whiny or starts to experience school refusal. They, they don't want to go to school. And maybe moving more towards the adolescence, if there's an activity that they once love that all of a sudden they're not interested anymore. You know, and and it's a prolonged period of that. It, it's it's a it's a pattern. You know, and not you know. just a day to day, but you know, all of a sudden, my son doesn't like to play video games. Well, what happened there? Right. Yeah. Something yeah. you've noticed. Okay. Right. So PRMC recently opened an adolescent behavioral health outpatient unit. Yes. Tell us about that. What what is that? Child and adolescent, actually, and it's an outpatient service. And there we offer complete assessment as well as treatment planning. Uh, we have licensed behavioral health professionals to provide uh, therapy as well as medication management. So we also have two child psychiatrists as well. Wow. Okay. And, it, and this is obviously from uh, the ribbon cutting and dedication of the center, um, named after the Moore family. Who are the Moores? The Moores are a very prominent family in the area. Um, they've done a lot um, of philanthropy in the area and they're very committed to behavioral health at PRMC and they've recognized that we need to grow the services for behavioral health, especially for children and adolescents on the Eastern Shore. So do you think we're doing enough for our kids? I think we can always do more. If you think about our children as the next generation, the, the ones that are gonna take over for us, we need to do everything we can to prepare them for that. Right. And I, I think we can safely say the world's not getting an easier place, becoming an easier place. 
So I think the challenges are always there to constantly add more services, reinvent the services as the presenting problems change. And we as parents can help change the perception our children have toward other people, perhaps could have toward other people and mental illness issues and things like that, wouldn't you say, I mean, as far as the stigma is concerned? Absolutely. I think, I think focusing on someone's strengths as opposed to something that maybe might be perceived in a negative way as setting someone apart from someone else. Um, you know, everybody has good traits, and I think it's important with kids to redirect them. Well, that person has a special need, but what are their good traits, mm -hmm. if that so makes sense? Is that what you would say? What would be your message to a family who has children who's in this situation with mental health issues? What, what would you say to them? I would say don't wait. If you think it's something where your child needs help or it's risen to the level of maybe your child's getting in trouble at school or having difficulty engaging with peers, your child deserves to have the help in order to have an excellent childhood and prepare themselves for the future. There, there's, no, there's no shame in asking for help. You know, somebody once said to me, there's a million books about parenting, but nobody's ever written a book about parenting your child. Mm. And that's really very true. Yeah. Hmm. So very it's, it's okay to ask for help. Dr. Dixon, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so very much. much. And good luck. All right, to read more from Peninsula Regional Medical Center, just go to our website, delmarvalife.com.